Hello everybody and welcome back to the realm. Last episode we made a lava farm and did some caving. And in this episode there's a few different things that I'm going to do. But the first thing that I want to do is just take a moment and say that I'm still going to be using the fall texture pack for a little while. I saw someone comment on the last video that they liked it and wanted me to keep it. So I'm going to keep it on for probably November. Maybe I'll take it off towards the end. But um... Yeah, so keeping it on for a bit, and thanks for commenting. I really like it when you guys comment on my videos. Motivates me to keep making them, and yeah, so thank you for that. Now, for the first thing that I'm going to actually do, that's not just a showcase or whatever, is I'm going to come down here and grab a little bit of andesite. Actually, this polished andesite will do just fine. Because there's a little addition that I want to make to my base. And that's going to be out over here. So, I really like this area of my base. But I'm just thinking of ways that I can expand it and make it a bit cooler. It's also becoming night, so I don't know how much I'm going to be able to do it right now. But what I want to do is maybe 10 or so blocks away from this tower. Make another one that's bigger and taller. I might have to like fill in some of this little pond here actually for it to work. But um it'll extend up and I don't know what I'll put up there, what I'll use in it, but I just think it might look kind of cool if I have it. So, I'm going to let's just see how many blocks away 10 would be. So, if you go 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 um Maybe we'll go like, yeah, yeah, 12, that's 12 blocks, I'll get rid of this also, and I'm gonna have to sleep soon, there's an enderman, that's a little bit too far, yeah, I'm thinking right around here is a good spot to start it, and oh, 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 oh god, creeper, okay, it's time, it's time to go to sleep. See, I'm going to sleep and then make a little outline of that tower. Hopefully this creeper is gone. I'm just going to open this and sprint out. Okay, he's right over there. And th there's three. Okay, well, I can't really build with these guys near me, so I guess I'll do... Okay, there's a skelly over here. What the heck is going on? Come on. Ugh! Okay. We don't need any explosions. Back up, back up. Nice. Okay. Crisis averted. And there's some zombies in there, some skellies. Okay, goodbye. Goodbye. Stay over by that tree and, and we can be all nice. And that creeper ran away, so I think we should be good. Now, oh, don't look at the Enderman. For this tower, I'm thinking that the sides on here are going to be like five wide. Whoops. Grass got in the way. And I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to put in the sides here. But I do know that I want to have... It's. Is this spider coming at me? I didn't... Okay. Goodbye. So I'm going to have entrances where basically there's they're going to be three blocks wide and some polished andesite's going to extend up. And then I don't know exactly how I'm going to do the rest of this, but maybe if we make it like 10 blocks wide, 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10. Yeah, that looks 11, yeah, we'll go 11, and I'm probably just going to start out by blocking this out in dirt, just so that we can kind of see what's going on, and I believe that the middle block here would be 6 in, so if we go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, oh, that's only 5. 
extend this back one if we extend this back one one two three four five six and one two three four five one two three four five oh no no okay I did that correctly then we can get rid of these right here go off this middle block and just go five in either direction because that's one two three four five and then yeah it's five over here I just double and triple checking my work there one two three four five boom 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 and one two three four five I believe that's correct alright now I need to figure out how I want to because I don't think actually you know what That kind of works. Yeah. Okay. At first I was thinking that I was going to have to do something like more special than just go directly diagonal, but I feel like that actually kind of works, so I'm just going to have it like that. Also, I don't know exactly what kind of blocks I'm going to be building this with. I kind of want to have some spruce, maybe like these corners will be made out of stripped spruce logs and spruce planks. So I'll come down into my chests and hopefully I have some spruce saplings around. Here we go, we only have four but as I chop these I'll get more and more. see here I'll just throw some around here doesn't really matter at this point and hopefully these grow up quick I can chop them down and get wood for that and then in these sections it's probably gonna be some stone bricks and stone and a site kinda what I have going on over here so yeah I'm probably gonna do most of this off camera just cuz the resource collection and putting it down isn't going to be that interesting, but yeah, this is just like the overall plan and layout of it. And I'm probably going to end up filling this in, maybe some more of this, but I can do that later. The next thing that I want to try and do is make a villager breeder. And to do that, I'm going to. There we go. I don't know why it didn't let me share that before. I'm going to need three beds to do that. And let's see, do I have enough? Not quite, but I'm assuming one of these sheep will eat some dirt relatively soon and then I can easily grab some more wool that way. And let's see, I don't really need to craft the beds right yet. I'm just going to go out, probably actually just build it almost like a building in the village. I could probably even use one of these buildings, but I don't really want to do that. And I want it to kind of blend in, fit in, so I'm going to use the same style that some of these buildings use with cobble and the oak, sort of in the same way. And I actually kind of like the style of the vanilla builds in the game. They're like, they look good, like this is a nice roof, and it's a, it's a nice build. It's not like over the top, it's not like super textured, but they look pretty nice let's see where a good spot I think around here might be a nice spot to place one in and I'll make it again I'll use some dirt to plant it out I'll probably good old 5 by 5 yeah what I'm trying to say by good old 5 by 5 is that generally a 5 by 5 space for a building is gonna look pretty nice or it's gonna be somewhat spacious at least so we get another five in here and the corners are probably going to be out of oak logs 
I'm actually building this kind of close to the path, aren't I? Yeah. Yeah, so I'm probably going to move this back a few blocks, and then once I get the pillars up and some of the walls in, I'll show that to you. So now the posts are up, and I've just been looking at some of these other village houses as kind of a base. And it looks like the posts are usually about four blocks high, as you can see there. And it looks like the windows are usually two blocks off the ground with a cobblestone wall. At least this is the main house that I'm modeling it after, so I'm probably going to make it look a bit more like this one. <clears throat> and I'm not sure if this is enough cobble, but I'll put in as much as I can for right now. And this is going to be our doorway. And yep, I'm going to have to layer it in across the top like that. And then on the sides, I'm thinking that this is going to be a three wide window maybe. Whoops. Hmm. They might do it one wide. I don't know, I'll have to I'll have to try both. And I'm probably gonna have to go back to base for some more cobble, but um Yeah, I'm just gonna keep filling out the house like this. And then I'm probably gonna put in some oak wood planks as the floor. Let's see if there's any of these houses that I can actually get into. This one I can. Let's see. So in this it looks like the floor is actually raised up by a block, and that's why the windows are two blocks high. Whoa. Baby zombie. So maybe we'll do something more like that over here with ours. This one I think is the same way. So maybe what we'll actually do, instead of having this all be cobble, maybe I'll take this out, have cobble down here as the first block. And then I'll take oak planks and then fill it in where I had the cobble up here. So basically, if I explained that properly, we're going to keep the cobble here. So keep the cobble like this. Have a layer of oak planks on top of that. And then make the rest of the walls out of oak planks. Here I have the oak planks filled in and also I have the base of oak planks here on the floor and just by looking at some of these other houses it looks like they wouldn't really do uh, three windows or I guess a one by three window so I'm probably gonna put some oak logs in like that it looks like there's a couple houses where they have something like that and I don't have any glass yet, but once I get some, I'll just put a pane right in there. And also, I have three beds, of course. They're the proper color. They're not, you know, any other goofy color. Just the classic three white beds. And I'm probably going to end up putting oak logs along the top. But I'm also going to need some stairs. Not entirely sure what I'm going to do with that, but for now... I'll go grab some sand, get some glass, probably put a door here, and also maybe make some stone stairs and just put them right there. Alright, so I've added some stairs out here, I've added in the door and some glass windows. I also decided to go ahead and replace the planks down here with some cobble just to help add a little bit of contrast. And I also was looking at some of the other houses. Actually, I haven't looked in this one yet, but yeah, the floor's cobblestone in here. And I know that the walls are not the planks, but like even in this one, you can see through the window right there that it is cobble on the floor. So I decided to put it on here too. And now what I need to do is work on making the roof, which is going to be mostly made out of some oak stairs. I'm thinking that we're gonna have it be like that low and it's gonna be on this side 
and then it's going to kind of overhang off the edge. And I'm going to need to craft some more stairs. But just, just you know, to see what it's going to look like, I'll go up kind of like this. And if I think that it's too big, what I can do... Ow. What I can do is just get it up to here and then do like slabs across the top and make it kind of a flat roof. So, I'll build the same thing on the other side, see how that looks, and if I like it, I'll keep it. If not, then I'll try out the slabs. So, if I were to do it like this, then I would put a plank right up there, and I think what I'm going to do instead is actually get rid of these stairs up on the top. And then what I'm going to do is craft a few more planks, because I'm running out. There we go. And then I'll just connect these ones through like this. And then I'll put another layer like right up there of of logs. And then it can be just kind of like this. And I hear a zombie. Uh, here he is. There's two. Whoa. Okay. So yeah, I should be able to take these stairs. Let's see what it looks like when I put them on the underside. I think that looks alright. I'm gonna have to add in the logs first to tell if I really actually like it or not. So before I actually make a decision on that, let me just grab this creeper over there. Hopefully he doesn't notice us. Ow again. And... Hmm. What if... What if I just made slab like this? Yeah. I think that looks alright. And then I can just put some torches there. And that should be okay. I might actually go up there and take away this plank and just have another slab up there. But if that doesn't look good, then I'll just leave it as is. Okay, the house is pretty much complete now. And I decided to get rid of this slab that I put there because I was looking at it a little bit and I was like, you know what, it doesn't actually look that good. Also on the inside, the roof is a little bit low. And if I just break this out, maybe you can't see, but if I break this one out, you can see that I made slabs up on the roof just so that mobs aren't going to be spawning up there because that'd be pretty bad and I am gonna probably make some fence gates to like block the villagers into here so they don't just run out but uh, either way I don't want you know mobs coming down on them and scaring them and all that so probably what I'm gonna do now is make those fences quick and then make some rails so that I can get some of these villagers over here so now I have some rails and a minecart and now I can actually get some villagers and put them into the breeder over there. And I know that there's a villager in here. Uh. Yep, there he is. Well, okay, we just lost that cobble. Never mind. I'm going to keep you in here until we're ready for you to come out. But um, I can basically just take these rails down and bring them over to the breeder. I hope that I have enough. And it looks like I'm going to run out. That's fine. Here, what I'll do, I'll just put a little bit of dirt there. And now what's going to be difficult is actually getting this guy into the minecart without him escaping all over the place. So I'm going to make a little walled-in zone right here. And then I'll put this minecart here. And hopefully get him into it. Okay, now he's in the minecart. And now hopefully we can just push this onto yep, onto the track. There he goes. Now I can just lift this up right behind him. 21 should be enough to continue it on. Okay, we need a little bit more. That's fine though. There we are. 
And I'm probably going to have a little hole in the wall right over here. Don't know why I wasn't using my axe. And we'll just have it come down right here. Connect up with this. And apparently that sheep sent him on his way. Ah. So yeah, if you just kind of sprint into a minecart, it'll come up. And now he's in here. Now... I am going to need to bring someone else into here, but I don't have two minecarts, so what I'm going to do is put a boat down so that he doesn't escape, and then hopefully, there, break the minecart, and then get him into this boat. Come on, man. There you go. And now I'm just going to keep this hole in the wall, find another villager, maybe is there any in here? Yeah, you look like... You look like you want to go in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm actually just gonna make a nice little hole in the wall for you. Again, it's good to make sure that they can't easily escape. Oh, shoot! I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry, man. Okay, dude. You are right in the way. You're standing right in the way. Your chest is in the way. Come on, man. Okay. Did he just hop in himself? Yes, he did. Good job, sir. You listened. See? When you listen, you don't have to get hurt. Alright? I don't want to hurt you. That's not my intention. And there you go, right into there with your buddy. Push this forward a little bit. There we go. Probably gonna go remove the job block just so that he's not employed because we don't really need him to be employed right now. And I might also break his bed because I don't think we want them to have a claimed bed. I don't know how much the beds matter, but sometimes that can be an issue. So I'm just going to break both of those quick. And I don't see his job block, which could potentially be a little bit annoying. But either way, I guess I'm just going to break those beds, pick up these rails, find the job block, break it, and then grab some food to give to them. Okay, these rails are up now. And I'm a little bit short on food. And usually I don't like to, you know, steal the villagers' crops, but I guess it is going right back to the villagers, so it doesn't really matter. You know what? We're just using it to feed them. Like, I'm not really stealing any of this, you know? I'm just, I'm just delivering the food to them. And look at that. I'm even, I'm even going to plant it back. Alright, let's see how much bread we can make out of this. Probably a decent amount. Eight pieces, that is... That is not that good. I don't know if that's enough bread for them to make a kid. I'll steal some of these beetroots. I don't know if they can eat beetroots, but... It's worth a shot, I guess. Let's see, what don't we need? We don't need a spider eye, really. I'll pick these up. And replant. Not sure why that makes a wood sound. That's a little... It's a little bit weird. But, you know, whatever. I guess I'll throw these in the composter. And also, I didn't even remove this dude's job block. But I looked in here. He doesn't have a job anymore, which is a little bit weird, but whatever. Oh god. Beetroots suck. Okay, anyway. I'm gonna break him out. Break this guy out. Without killing him. Dang it, I broke my axe. Okay. Now these guys are in here. Hopefully they've claimed these beds. Oh, he just looked like he did. I'm gonna toss you some food. Pick it up, please. 
Don't just stare at me. Come on. Uh -huh. Free food. Free food. Maybe I need to throw it a bit more directly at him. Bruh. Don't just stare at me. Get your bread. You want bread? What the? Okay. Well, maybe at least they have these beds claimed. Okay, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna sleep right over here. Don't mind me. Torch in my face. Now let's see if. Oh yeah, there he goes picking that up. He's picking up all that food. Oh, they're look. Oh, see, love. And it might take a little bit, but uh, eventually a baby should pop out, so I'm going to let that, I don't know how, oh, yeah, there we go. Wow, that was fast. Or do you have a little baby villager in here? So you, my friend, are going to be going to a trading hall very soon to work on your nice career that you're not being forced into. But yeah, so this breeder's complete. That's pretty much all that I wanted to do this episode, but before it's over, I want to give a little update on this. So I was building, and I put in the stripped spruce, and I was looking at it, and it looked really dark, darker than I expected. And then I was like, well, maybe, what does the oak one look like? I put it down, stripped it, and I realized I didn't want stripped spruce, I actually wanted stripped oak, so... I just took down all the spruce trees. You can see some leaves left over. But anyway, that's about it for this episode. I hope that you enjoyed it. And if you did, please consider leaving a like. And consider subscribing if you want to see more videos like it. But that's about it. So I will see you in the next one.